Hello everyone. Today's presentation is going to be focused on the S-Base Cloud, or as we call it, the new Oracle Analytics Cloud. So let's go ahead and jump in. So what we're looking at on the screen here is what the Oracle Analytics Cloud looks like today. Again, this is an entire service similar to the cloud services that we know out on the market today between PBCS, EPBCS, um, and others. As you can see here, I have a listing of all the applications. I can also create an application. I can import an application, and we're going to talk about that um, in a little bit. You can see the application name, the cube name, um, aggregate storage, allow duplicate member names, um, enable scenario management. That's more around the sandbox, um, and we'll talk about that shortly. So let's go ahead and click on one of the applications, which is the spend application, and we'll walk through some of the functionality in terms of the tool and how things look like within the tool itself. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at the outline. So for many of you that may have been using S-Base administration services or the old application manager for many, many years, you'll notice that this looks very different. We can see here on the left-hand side a listing of the different dimensions in my block storage cube called spend within the spend planning application. Within there, I can click on the calendar. When I click on the calendar, I can see the members within the calendar, just like I could see that anywhere else. Click on my measures dimension, and I can see within my measures dimension uh, the various me uh, members within my measures dimension. This is all part of the entire um, structure within the outline and so forth. Go into my products dimension, and I can see my various products dimension down here as well with the member name, member ID, and all the various um, settings from an overall, um, you know, S-based point of view, okay? So I have all my dimensions in here, and you can go ahead and you can load these members in um, via Excel. I mean, create an application directly from Excel, and we'll talk through what that looks like. I'll show you an Excel um, view of that information. The next thing we have here is we have jobs. You can see here various types of jobs that I can see in terms of running. Think of this um, similar to within S-Base where you're seeing all the processes running. So here I can click a new job and I can select a job type, a data load job, a dimension build job, a calc execution clear job, and I can have. So if I'm going into calc execution, I can see here's my various scripts that I have listed. I can schedule that to run. I can re schedule a restructure, whatever that may be. Okay, so all my various jobs within, again, to reiterate, data load, loading data, of course, using S-based data load, dimension build, building my outline, calc execution, running a series of calculations, and clear data. Okay, we'll go ahead and cancel out of there. Next thing that we have is we have scripts. For many of you that are familiar with S-based calc scripts, okay, um, it's, you can paste this in here. You could do this in Notepad, whatever you may uh, want to do. <coughs> here I've got an example of a calculation that I did, probably the most basic example. I'm just calculating the measures dimension, or if I wanted to calculate any dimension. Once I do that, I click my little validate button, click my validate button, and then my script. Think of this just like S-based calc script engine, okay? The complete S-based calc script engine and all the calculations that are associated with that. Here I can look at another calculation as well, um, where I'm you know, looking at more um, extensive. Again, typically I'd want to do this inside of Notepad, bring it in here, and then save it and validate um, the solution as well. Again, another um, calculation uh, to look at a different calculation. Same logic that we've been familiar with for over 20 years from an S-based point of view. These are the calculations. Okay. From an admin point of view, okay, you can see here, here's my admins. I can unlock something if something's running, similar to what I've been doing um, in S-Base days. I can unlock something. I can look at all of my um, objects, and I can create variables, just like I would do like current month, current year, previous month. Uh, prior year, whatever that may be, I can set up my variables just like I would set up my variables back in the past. Uh, same functionality that you have today, okay? Again, this is entirely supported by Oracle. So the difference is you're taking your S-based infrastructure that you have today 
and Oracle is now hosting it and managing it for you. You're just worrying about creating the applications and supporting your applications from an end user point of view, okay? So again, to reiterate, outline, the outline process. Jobs is where the jobs are created, data load, calc scripts, clearing data, scripts, where you're creating your native calc script, admin, creating your variables, unlocking a calculation that may be running too long, okay? Or a restructure, something happened, okay? Security, same thing as we know today. So this is gonna use the cloud security, um, but then you can assign filters and you can add filters and create whatever that you may want to create that is pertinent for your organization based upon the filters that you wanna do. So sample filter, whatever, and I can go ahead and I can um, add my information that I wanted to in terms of read, write, what are the members that I wanna look at, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So I go ahead in here and I can create my filters if I wanted to, same thing as I do today. Or I can load this in and I'll show you that as well, okay? Next thing we've got is we've got files and files are basically where all your information is kept. Think of this as like your app folder within SBase. Here you can see all my calc scripts denoted by CSC the famous um, extension R, .rul for my all my rule files, for so my .rul files, and then all my text files, how I'm building my um, dimension structure. And anything that I wanna look at, I can create a rules file, I can edit a rules file, refresh. So if I go ahead in here and I click actions, and I go ahead and create a rules file, I can define what that rules file is, um, and go in there and specify that. And I can upload any document inside here that's pertinent to SBase, right? What is that? Is that a calc script? Um, is that, what is it, right, that I'm trying to use that for? And that's entirely kept within the cloud layer. So think of this as your entire app folder, dimensions, rules, calc scripts, et cetera. And of course I can go ahead and I can download something just by clicking the little download button. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and open this up with uh, text edit, whatever, on my Mac. And you can see here when I do that and I click OK, it's going to go ahead and open up my calc script. OK, so, you know, pretty, pretty basic functionality in here. OK, uh, then once you go in here, you're going to have the settings tab. What is the settings tab? This is kind of my uh, properties of my application, two pass calculation, aggregate missing values. Um, my outline, uh, different kind of information for my outline, different types of statistics that we all like to see, dense and sparse settings as well. And then we can see here a variety of advanced statistics you can see here too. So variety of information, um, you know, in terms of the, um, the dimensions. Here I can see my dimension of time, generation one, year, quarter, month, etc. I can go ahead into the measures dimension. And it's going to update that in a second. Um, there we go. And you can see here my generations, my levels, how, how deep is my structure going in here. Now, one of the unique things around this tool is also the ability of creating um, sandbox. I'm not going to go ahead and do this right now in this application, but you have the ability of creating sandbox. Think of it as a, a, a different version of your data, like an Excel workbook, a different view of that information that you can work with and play with. Uh, within the overall solution set itself. So uh, kind of a cool feature in terms of the sandbox feature um, that may be um, important for you to um, look at as well, okay? So now let's go ahead and let's go into the utilities. Utilities really export utility for exporting the outline, smart view for SBase, lifecycle management command line tool. Very basic um, utilities that you would be using. And then finally, some various templates. Now, we're gonna go over this in a second. So you have the ability of creating a template and within that template, defining your SBase application and what you want it to look like. And we're gonna to touch on that in a few minutes, okay? And then finally, you have your academy. Your academy is really where all of your SBase um, functionality is in terms of how you want to learn how to use the system, creating an application, cube outlines, users roles, migrating applications, similar to all the other cloud products that you can gain access to this information. So I wanna know about how to create a cube. 
I go ahead and I can see this is in my docs, my Oracle, download a sample application, creating cubes, loading data, working with cubes, et cetera, et cetera. All the types of information that I want to look at. Okay. Um, again, this is a, a quick recap of this SBase Analytic Cloud service. The next thing I want to show you is I want to just show you Smart View. As we know of SmartView today, this is the exact same thing. I've got my SmartView. I've got my SmartView connection right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Ad Hoc Analysis. When I click on Ad Hoc Analysis, um, unless it's uh, timed me out, um, I can see here my S-based structure. Here's my calendar. Uh, let's say I want to look at FY 2016. I want to drill on that, and I want to look at the quarters behind FY 2016. And I want to look at my spend for 2016. So we're going to go ahead and keep only on that. We're going to double click on product. I want to look at that and see the information that. But we want to go ahead and we're going to pivot um, the time period, of course, to the column access within my application. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so it's going to show me that. And then I'm going to go ahead and see that. Now, I only have one member for my measures dimension, so we're going to go ahead and pivot that uh, to the, oops, we're going to pivot that to the point of view. And here I have my ad hoc. As you know of SBase today, same exact thing as SBase uh, Oracle Analytics Cloud. There's really no differences from a smart view uh, uh, reporting. Cascade, aliases, member selection, right? I go in here and I click member selection. I'm going to go ahead and see my member selection of my different members that I want to look at, um, all that functionality. I want to go ahead in here and I want to do some options, some suppression. I want to go ahead and suppress zero data, no data missing. Go ahead and click refresh. This is S-Space. Biggest takeaway, I am using the foundation of Oracle hosting this S-Space footprint with me creating the applications and managing the applications accordingly. So that's really what it boils down to in terms of the overall application and structure of the overall solution. Okay. Again, everything that you can do here, you can do inside of um, SmartView as you know today. You go ahead and create a smart slice, um, whatever that may be. Um, I can see all my connections. I could have S-Space in one connection. I could have planning in another connection, FCCS in another connection, et cetera, okay? So we don't need to spend time going through all the S-Space functionality. Um, you can use this for people that aren't familiar with the Oracle Analytics Cloud and S-Space. Basically, think of it as a giant pivot table, managing a giant pivot table with the database being managed by Oracle, giving you the best of breed functionality around a proven database engine that's been around for many, many years, um, that provides you with great functionality, okay? So let's go back here. To reiterate, if I click back on my Oracle Analytics Cloud, little um, uh, uh, cursor here. So here again, I can see my applications. I can import. Now, let's talk about that on the import side. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the desktop. In my desktop, I have an Excel workbook. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see, okay? What is this? Let's go ahead and talk about this. So there's a variety of ways of creating applications. If you think of creating application, you create an application by creating an application on the screen. As you can see here, I can go ahead and create. I can give it an application name, a, a cube name, and I can load in my dimension files just like you saw previously. So if I go here to my spend app, I'm gonna go ahead and, and we go to my outline. You can see here when I click on my files, these are all my files that created my application, my data, my dimension structure, etc. Well, the other way to create an application is through a template. So there's a variety of templates that are provided to you, uh, both for ASO, block storage, um, etc. Here I define here my application name, my database name, my dimensions, type of dimensions I'm bringing in here, cube settings. This is all, so you can start with a blank slate. You delete all the information and you apply the information that's pertinent to your application. So here I can see here, I can also put in my sub variables, current month, current year, prior month, prior year, et cetera. Here I can see here my generations um, around my dimension name um, for year. Here I can see my members. So here, think of this like the outline utility 
um, you know, smart view, right? Where I'm defining my members, file name, dimension year, rule name, parent, child, merge. Here's my dimension year. Here's my dimension market, all my different markets within my dimension name. Again, this is a basic outline, but you should, um, basic application, but you should be able to understand kind of the concepts around this. Here I've got my product dimension where I can see my parent members, uh, my child members, etc. Second, then I have my accounts dimension. So I can see here all my different accounts, um, roll up of accounts, different accounts, parent child relationship, consolidation, formula, etc. Here I can see here my scenarios, my different scenarios that I can see in here. Again, you'll notice that it's represented by the information in my file. And then I've got my data. Again, this is the cool thing, right? I could have all my data inside of a file. So here I've got my market, my product, my year, my scenario, measure of sale, measure of cost, measure of margin, my time defined here, my scenario defined here, and all my different measures defined here of the data represented in my model. Of course, I could load this data via load rule, just like I would do with any other piece of data, but same thing. Here again, I've got my data for Chicago, my data for Dallas my data for Denver, my data for Houston, my data for Los Angeles, my data for New York, and so on and so on. So data for New York, Phoenix, San Francisco, Seattle. And then finally, when I'm done loading, setting up the application, loading the dimensions, loading the data, I run a calc all, basic calculation to calculate and roll up the data. So the takeaway from this, is there are two ways to create applications. One is to create an application, load your files. Next way is you're going in and you're defining your file structure via Excel. So you can see here, if I go back to my um, Oracle application view um, and I go back in here, I can click this import button. You'll notice when I click this import button, it's asking me for the Excel file. I can ask for the Excel file. I'm not gonna go through this and do this. I can give it an application name, sample, basic, Okay, create a cube, update out cube, retain, remove all data, load data. Okay, deploy and close. And that's basically it, it's defining that. So if we go back to this application right here, and we go back to the um, spend application and we click on the templates, you can see here block storage, okay? Uh, um, demo basic, aggregate storage sample. And here you can see it defines, um, here I've got, ASO sample data text, right? Here I've got all my data. So again, you can define the information that you wanna look at um, in here. Here's another free form tabular data sample. So they are defining for you how you want the information to look like and how to bring it into the system. Again, biggest takeaway, if you're an existing SBA shop, there's two points of view that I wanna reiterate. You could be have an existing S-Base application and you may want to move that application over to um, PBCS or ePBCS depending on your S-Base structure. Or you've got lots of S-Base cubes and you've got aggregate storage, block storage. Uh, you don't want to be in the business of managing those cubes anymore. Great way to manage this now in the cloud. Again, smart view, no change for your users. Administration, a little bit. As you can see now, you're talking about a cloud front end around this solution and how this overall works within the system, okay? Uh, I wanna uh, thank everyone for today's session. If you have further questions or wanna see your application inside of the Oracle Analytics Cloud, feel free to contact us. Um, have a nice day, thank you.